Allness, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashida Silvertree. Thank you so much for tuning in today and may this message find you well and whole. Today, um, hopefully by the end of this video, I will have a clear um, title for this message. Um, but today, this morning, I was um, in meditation and um, I just feel pulled to share and talk about this spiritual attacks and what are angels and demons and entities and ETs and the like? What are they? As someone who has personal experience with this, and I can only speak from my personal experience, this is not just from movies I've watched or horror films I've watched or books that I've read, stories that I've read. No, no, this is personal experience. My um, goal with this this portal and this channel is to only speak from experience and not just out of my my butt okay um so but let's get into this because spiritual attacks um i think they deal with the illusion of separation and i want to make a lot more videos regarding this the illusion of separation i've mentioned this several times before in many of my other um, videos or messages but um, the illusion of separation is what gives spiritual attacks um, ammo, right? And spiritual attacks can happen in your conscious world. They can happen in your subconscious world. They can happen in your dream state. They can happen verbally, um, psychically, mentally, emotionally, physically even. Um, so what are angels and what are demons? So a lot of the time, you know, we are programmed to believe that angels have wings and demons have horns. And um, angels are loving and demons are, are not loving. They're hateful and evil. It's very dualistic. But let's step away from that, okay? And let's look, let's look at the concept of illusion of separation. What is illusion of separation? Separation consciousness... Separation consciousness deals with I am I, I am the I and you are the you. You um, believe in the fragmentation of consciousness, meaning that you are separate from the other, that there is an other outside of you. This stems from the um, religious dogma and religious programming within that, that formulates as good versus evil. Okay, then there's unity consciousness. Unity consciousness is all everything good, dark, evil, happy, sad, all are one. All are part of the one that is, um, that is that that's trying to reunite with itself. God is like a God consciousness or consciousness itself, unified consciousness is just. Um, in the nature of our reality, it's just fragmented consciousness that that's learning to come back to itself, learning to, we're all here holding um, each other's hands to lead each other back home to oneness. So there's a difference between unity consciousness and separation consciousness. In separation consciousness, you have this illusion that you are separate from the all, from wholeness. That's why I always say wholeness. I did not uh, come up with that phrase, but wholeness um, comes from uh, the first time I heard that was with Seven Bomar, and it's just it's so complete. You're not saying hello, like you know, like hell. Oh no, you're saying wholeness, oneness, unity. Hello, right? But you're not saying hello, but it's like oneness, unity, wholeness, cyclical, the circle, the womb, the feminine, completeness. Um, and so when we believe to our core that into the illusion of separation and we're on our spiritual path, we are prone, we activate all that is fragmented in us and we activate all that is fragmented outside of us. So what, how does this manifest in our dream state and in our lives just in general? Okay. Um, Anything that's fragmented, whether that's your childhood trauma, um, sexual abuse, drug abuse, any kind of abuse, okay, um, any form of trauma, there is uh, vibration and frequency. 
these two things are incredibly important to keep in your mind and your heart when listening to this message. This determines everything. When you are under spiritual attack, it's just a fragmented part of you. No one can actually spiritually attack you. Hear me out, because yes, there are some serious, serious practitioners out there of energy manipulation that go out of their way. Um, because here's the thing, you can, you can be incredibly powerful and still be, you know, and still believe in the illusion of separation. I've met plenty of um, practitioners who, unconscious or conscious, believe that they're separate from the all. And so if like, for example, someone wants to wish you ill will or they want to send you a, a dark entity or dark energy, they're capable of taking a fragment of themselves and projecting that onto you. This is how you combat that and how you neutralize that back into wholeness and unification. It's due to your belief system, okay? Meaning that when you are undergoing um, a projection of someone's fragmented consciousness. So it's, they're like, they, let's just say they're a practitioner of some, some sect in occultism or whatever. And they're like, I want to get her. I want to, I want to block her. I want to, you know, block him. I want to cause her harm in her sleep or her dreams. Um, they send that to you. You feel what you and how you perceive this experience is based off of Frequency and vibration. Vibration and frequency. You know it's it's off. And you have one to two choices here. You can say, I am connected to all. I am part of the unity consciousness that is whole within me. I shouldn't have said part of. I am whole. I am unified with all consciousness, all light, all dark, all the all. I am unified. This fragmented, um, separated, fragmented part of, of consciousness itself has presented itself to me. It is not different from me. I am not different from it. We are the same. So it either the experience, let's say you're visited by an entity and it comes into your space, you can unify and neutralize that whole thing. Either it's going to get out of your, your way real fast because the thing is with fragmented parts of consciousness, it's all about frequency and vibration. And sometimes the frequency and vibration of that entity is so low and so dark that it will, in or, if it wanted to move or increase its frequency and vibration, um, it would, it, it, the fear of becoming unified would destroy it, right? The fear it has a fear of unification. It has a fear because then it can't hold on to ego. It can't hold on to its, its nature. And, and so it's so dense and so low and so slow in its frequency that, um, it, it just leaves, it leaves you the F alone because you're, you're about that life. You're about that unification that all things are connected. So nothing can harm you. Nothing can bother you. Nothing can disrupt your inner peace, your inner wholeness. Those of us who don't have this wisdom or they don't, you don't have this awareness. I should say you have the inner wisdom about this. You remember your soul remembers. That's why I'm making this message. That's why I'm I uploading it. Because it's just a reminder. You know this already. This is nothing new. Those of us who um, are aware of this, it's not going to attack you. They just bounce off. Just boop, boop, boop. They just bounce off of, off of you. Because you, you strike fear. You... <laughs> You, it's, you activate that unity consciousness. The, the frequency and vibration of unity consciousness is, is high, very, very high when it's activated. So things that are, of, of, are fra fragmented from the unity consciousness is low. That's why it feels achy and gross and, ugh, you know, and I've had all kinds of spiritual attacks on my path. Psychic mental attack, like emotional attacks, 
um, even physical attacks. I'm not going to get into the physical attacks because um, it's very personal and I'm still processing uh, some of that stuff. <laughs> Maybe in, in the next, you know, when it's when the time is right, I'll, I'll go into more of that. But I mean, and all rooted in spiritual, okay? Because that's what happens when, you know, for example, demonic attacks, they will literally, someone who's so fragmented, for example, violence, an entity, an entity attachment will hook, they'll hook into the, the consciousness of the, the energy of the being and it will act out, right? Um, when someone's deeply, 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 deeply fragmented beyond repair almost, really. Um, but again, that's why so many people will, you know, they'll suffer from, from their energy attack. Oh, I was attacked by a demon. It's like, because you believe that you are separated from it. You believe that you're separated from the all. You believe, and it's a deep, deep subconscious belief system. It doesn't make any of you or anyone or myself a bad person. Really. It's just some, it's just frequency and vibration. You can't label it bad or good. The universe doesn't label or all multiverses don't. But just, no, it doesn't label you as evil or bad because your frequency is, it's just, it matches. And that's how you feel. That's how, that's the experience that manifests. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, it's, it's pretty, this is kind of deep, but this is how you can neutralize those really negative experiences, spiritual experiences, people, my dear humans, you know, like it's, it's real. It's spirit world is very real and it's all frequency and vibration. I will say that with lower entities, they tend to be, um, just a lot lower and heavier. There's warmth, um, like just warmth, like hot, you know, it's just woo, 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 like that. If their frequency and their vibration had a noise, you can just woo, woo, woo. But things that are higher, like in the angelic realm or fairy realm or different higher levels of consciousness, which is you, just it's super fast and high. Um and and so and you feel light you feel expansive when you have a positive spiritual visitation that's just you all the angels and all the everyone that comes to you and even in meditation you have a vision you're meeting other uh versions of yourself i've seen angels before okay i've seen you know, and it's just, it's just you. It's not outside of yourself. That is how you, you just, you become unbothered. You become unbothered with the, with the negative spiritual experiences that you have. When you feel that fear and you see an entity or an energy, it's just a effed up fragmented version of yourself that is unhealed. It's a vibrational match. And so you're just kind of like, whoa, whoa, gosh. And you force yourself awake or you start praying in fear. There's nothing to fear when it comes to spiritual attacks. That's why it's, you almost, I almost laugh when people send me stuff sometimes. And it's been a while. It's a, it's, it doesn't happen intentionally. And I usually feel when people are, have the capability of doing these things beforehand, both way beforehand. Oh man, do I have I have tons of stories, good and not so great, where you'll have a human, a being having a human experience that they're so so deep in their illusion, the illusion of separation that they um that they they commit evil. That's what that's what illusion of separation is. It is evil. And when you flip the word evil, what does it say? Live, live, alive, abundance. You flip live back where it's evil. Evil is, sep is the illusion of separation appearing real. And 
you know, and even people can smile on your face, bro. They, they can, I sound like a Gen Zer, bro. Um, they, they can smile on your face and you're thinking they like you and love you and all this other stuff, but feel something doesn't feel right. Frequency and vibration. That determines a lot when it comes to awakening your spiritual gifts, awakening your subconscious, connecting to different versions of yourself, different aspects of yourself. I saw a spirit. It looked inhuman. That's you. That's you meeting you. Say hello. Or I should say, say wholeness. <laughs> you know, wholeness. How's it going? Hi. Hey. I met when I met my a version of my inner child. She was injured. She looked effed up. She looked demonic. Like, what's wrong with you? She was like a little girl, but like a really effed up version of a little girl. Like, if you, if you guys ever read, um, watched Stephen King's Rose Red, and and there's a little girl, and she has like a claw for her hand. That's what she looked like. I'm like, but that was because she was wounded. You'll visit wounded aspects of yourself that you'll call a demon. Get away from me, you demon! It's like, ask. At, there, I had an experience where I, when I started becoming stronger um, energetically, and I, I, one popped up in my room, and I'm like, you know, in the astral or whatever, and I'm like, state your intention. You know? Like, why are you here? And it said to destroy you. I said, oh. <laughs> and then I stated my intention. I said, you can either um, unify with the all or return. Go. You, you, they have to go back to where they come from. Wherever they came from, which is you. You see, like, everything's interconnected in such a way why, why do we fear these things? That's why I don't watch horror movies anymore. I can watch psychological movies, but I can't watch horror movies and horror flick and because it opens up that that's the illusion of separation. It gives it strength. Like that movie It from the 80s from Stephen King. Stephen King, his material is a lot deeper than what people... It's not just for entertainment. It deals with a lot of human psychology and consciousness and this dualistic like good versus bad and character development and why people do the things that they do and motives and you know and character flaws um there's a time period where i was really into stephen king but it and it they literally due to frequency and vibration this entity locked into all those kids because those children, see, they had this ability to neutralize, to unify, if they worked all together to unify this entity entity back into wholeness, into oneness, so that it could free itself and become part of the whole. That's not how the story uh, unfolds, but they had that superpower. And you must ask yourself, too, I'll end with this. You must ask yourself, what am I doing to cause this type of experience and nine chances out of ten you're doing something right when you begin to have visitations from fragmented parts of consciousness fragments of con fragmented consciousness and it begins to manifest into your life and whether that's in the physical like you'll have somebody I have one lady it was a rough day at the hospital where I used to work there when I used to work there and I was coming home and I had patients unhappy and just coworkers. It was just it was a rough day. I was near my period, and I was just like coming in to um, where I usually park, and it's a one way, but my apartment's like boom, it's right there. I'm not gonna go all the way around. It just doesn't make any sense, and I don't bump into too many cars anyway. So I was doing my thing. This car comes out. She hits. She honks at me super loud rolls down her window and screams at me. I mean, dropping F-bombs, just really nasty. And then, to top it all off, and I just kept my, because you don't want to engage with people because people are, are cray cray, okay? They will, they just never engage when it comes to road rage. Um, oh, I'm a poet, didn't even know it. Um, but I pulled into my spot and she 
enters into the street, slows down, and then she gives me the finger. Like, she was doing extra. She, well, she could have said, which is, you know, she could have just said, hey, it, you know, don't do this, or hey, you know, that's not cool, but whatever. And I would have been like, oh, okay, bet. I'll keep an eye out, you know, like I'll, I'll try to get better, you know, not just coming in, not looking, whatever. No, she just went ham and she just waved her middle finger at me and sped off in anger. And I sat there and I cried. <laughs> this happened like four months ago. I just, I was like, why, what did I do? It's like those moments where you just don't do anything. You're already kind of like emotionally vulnerable. And I just, I kind of cried. You know, and I told my best friend about it and she was just like, you know, we shared, she had a similar experience where she's like, I don't like, I'm nice. I'm a nice person. But that is a form of an attack. Okay. I love Eckhart Tolle's pain body concept. Her pain body was activated. Okay. And I could have further engaged, which I think given how cray cray she was, it probably wouldn't have ended very well for either of us. So I didn't, you know, cause you don't know people's crazy. We all are crazy, but you don't know, you don't know the depth. Okay. You don't know how deep the crazy can get with some people. Like I said, people are like I've said before, people who have lost it all and have nothing um, else to lose will take everything that you have. Okay. <laughs> so you don't ever assume people are going to be, are going to match your crazy. Don't ever assume people are going to match your crazy. You choose to act out and your pain body is activated. But yeah, so that, that was like a, a very aggressive verbal, you know, you can label it as spiritual attack. Okay. Um, and I have had others. Covens will get pissed at me for whatever reason. That's why I don't, I don't mess around with people. That, that type of energy. I love women's circles, but not those kind because it's all, uh, most of the time, it's all ego. Well, look what I can do. I can do it better, you know, and then all of a sudden everyone's turning on each other. So it's like, I've been, you know, I usually just stay to myself when it comes to my spiritual practices. I used to go and hang out with women and do womenly stuff, but I've learned it's just best to keep it private and solitary. That's, that's what I do. That's how, what I, that's how I run my, my business. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just food for the heart, food for the soul. And just, this is just a reminder because you know all of this. That's why I don't heavily edit like, and you know, put sprinkles on my editing and stuff like I can edit. I, I know how to edit videos, but, um, it's just simple. There's beauty in simplicity. I want you to tune into the message itself, not, wow, look at her intro music and outro music and look at all the graphics and look at it. That's just fluff and butter. And I don't, that's not important. The most important thing is that you take this message as a reminder of what you're capable of. And, and when you are activating these very long, long neglected abilities and and trauma wounds and all this other stuff, you know, because there's a, such beauty in, in unity consciousness. There's such beauty in unified consciousness. It's, it's, I've seen things that you're like, this is, this must what be what we call heaven. I tried to stay there. I've had experiences where I tried to like, literally just kind of like, eh. And I was like pushed back out into this realm and into this world, into this reality. Because God's source is like, um, no, 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 no. We, we just needed you to help. <laughs> we just needed you to help this spirit. We just needed you to help this energy. You can't stay yet. It's not your time. So sorry. Get back in there. Get back in the human experience. Thanks. You know, and I'm just like, wow. And then I've seen some dark, some dark shit. <laughs> Okay, some real visceral experiences that you're just kind of like, and this is why I don't drink or do drugs. Because <laughs> I'm serious. Entities love that ish. They love, ooh, anything, like especially drug that can alter your mental status. We call that AMS in the hospital. But altered mental status, like psycho, uh, um, psychedelics, you know, uh, 
hardcore drugs, alcohol. Ooh, they love that shit. They love it. It gives them power. These fragmented parts of consciousness. But that is the end of the message. Just remember two sides of the same coin. Remember, you are the coin. Okay? And if you are having predominantly a lot of spiritual attacks, it's usually a calling for you to keep going because you're on the right track. Don't stop. And a lot of people get freaked out. You know, they, they run back to their religions, which religions really push the dualistic illusion of separation. Um, sadly, they do. You know, you have to take... I, I'm in New York. I need to take a bus to get to New York. But I'm already here. You don't need to take a bus. You don't, And the bus is religion. You don't need to take a bus. Some people... We all start off taking the bus and making this big-ass trip around in circles in NYC. And we're just like, what? You know, and... But just simplify, 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 simplify. Simplify. And just remember frequency, vibration. Frequency, vibration, vibration, uh, frequency. That is what dictates fragmented con uh, consciousness and unified consciousness. Unified consciousness is going to feel different. It's going to feel right. Fragmented consciousness is going to feel like you, it, uh, bleh, you know, <laughs> like you just want to hurl. I remember there are times where um, being around with someone whose consciousness is really, really fragmented and so they have all these entity attachments and spiritual attachments and things on them eating their energy and they're unconscious of that. Um, and it's just like I wanted to vomit. I've been around that before where I just could not look. I couldn't even stand, like be in the same room, okay? And then there are people where I just feel this warmth and they feel more unified and just, it feels right. It's just this beautiful lightness of being. Pay attention to frequency and vibration because you can have people smile and say, and be all angelic, but then they're not. And then you can have someone that looks disheveled and looks just off but they feel but you know in, in deep deep within they're unified with themselves just you have to really spiritual attacks strengthen your discernment so know this please and if you have any any questions or concerns about what I've said in this video please let me know below please um, I love it. I love these type of topics. May this message find you well. Thank you. And homeless.